Hello, uh, my name is Safi Nurasan. I work with USAID's Office of Transition Initiatives. Our office supports uh, well, a country, a short term programming to support countries in political transition. I'm going to talk a bit about some of our programming in Mali around the 2013 elections. So, what was the challenge in Mali? Uh, there are a lot of them. There was war, followed by a coup, followed by more war, ever more complex political alliances. Uh, military versus government, military and government versus rebels, rebels versus other rebels. And it's also a country with uh, relatively limited access to information, uh, low levels of literacy, uh, very little internet penetration. Um, but elections were happening fast, uh, three months after a state of emergency in which campaigning was not allowed. Oh, I'm sorry, three weeks. Uh, and so what sorts of uh, institutions and activities could we support to make sure that these elections were meaningful and accepted by the population. Uh, we were, we'd have to go in, start right away. We couldn't wait, collect data first. So we'd have, we were interested in doing activities that would also collect data along the way and data that we could use to improve future activities. So a lot of these were going to be face-to-face, -face information campaigns, educational uh, discussions, particularly targeting women and youth, uh, just giving information about the upcoming elections. Also, youth peace caravans. These were aimed more specifically at reconciliation. And again, these were all over the country, uh, but especially in the war-torn north. And training volunteers to go to markets and uh, town centers, everywhere where people congregate to uh, spread information about how to vote, how to register, and the services that the government was offering to get more information out about, uh, about these elections. And finally, a uh, voter information hotline and, uh, well, that was run by a local civil society organization, SOS Democracy, which would also give information about uh, the elections and allow people to report incidents of violence, uh, intimidation, fraud, uh, to maximize accessibility. This was reported over uh, SMS, voice, internet in four uh, Malian languages. And it would also uh, offer real-time information about electoral problems uh, that citizens could, uh, uh, well, well, actually, that part ended up being not quite as important because the elections went surprisingly well. Uh, high turnout and little violence to speak of. Uh, uh, also, very little fraud. Uh, I don't, actually can't, or very little fraud reported. I can't tell you with confidence whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, what you ended up seeing was a lot of the sort of classic kinds of problems. People wanted to participate, but Voting ended up being kind of a bewildering process. People had to uh, select their names out of unalphabetized lists to find out where their polling stations were. Uh, the <laughs> information services were quite a bit more popular than we expected, uh, but about 35% of calls to SOS democracy were about getting voter IDs, another 20% about the voting process. Uh, and. This actually provided us with quite a bit of data that we could use to improve the second round of elections. Uh, so in that sense, a very positive thing that nobody got a majority in the first round. Uh, so we used information on uh, locations and thematic information to better target similar activities, uh, helping voters find their polling stations. Took a lot of this off of the phone and internet so it was face-to-face, -face. thought that it was less likely that you'd have a technological breakdown that way. Uh, we also moved a lot of the face-to-face -face activities onto the uh, phone and the internet, figured you could do massive uh, SMS blasts on reconciliation, encouraging people to accept the results, and telling them how to avoid uh, ballot spoilage. Crisis mappers is actually very timely. Now that the presidential elections are over, the parliamentary elections are coming up next week, and I want to tap the brains in this room for ideas on how we can make those uh, more successful. And uh, if you're interested in this topic, come find me.